he's finally out with a new machine there she is Equinox 600 from mine lab looks good never used it yet I've just switched it on and uh, put in some settings on field 2 put in some settings from uh, searcher mags YouTube channel and uh, I made a bit of a boo-boo I've kind of discriminated out something there, I don't know how I did that, but I've got a lot to learn. But I'm on the uh, orchard where I found the um, Robert II Hammy. Um, let's see what this machine can find. Well, here we go, first target. Come up with uh, 16, 17, 18. Nice sound. Let's see what my first ever find is with the Equinox 600. I will say something, it's very light, it's very comfortable, apart from the armrest, mm, it's a bit wide, it's alright if you like the Incredible Hulk, but yeah, it's not as comfortable in the armrest, on the armrest as the uh, 80 Pro, but yeah, it's alright, it's very lightweight, there we go, 16 to 18, let's see what that is. Well, the first ever find with the Equinox 600, pretty deep down-ish. Yeah, it just turns out to be a fishing weight. Mmm. Ah, well. At least I know the machine works. But we're looking for older stuff, aren't we? Deeper, older. I'm around about the area where I found the Robert the Second Hammy. So I'm going to hit this area, see what else we can find. I dug this hole here. It's a banging 17. It would be banging. It's quite shallow. Just copper, I think. Interesting little bit of stuff being wrapped around it though. Uh, don't think it's very old. Oh, I've got a lovely 11. Solid 11 that is. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 inches down apparently. Let's have a look. A uh, shallow hole, like I said, about four inches down. Just a modern thing. Nothing exciting. Would I have found that with the Air 2 Pro? Definitely. Uh, the reason I got a new machine is I just wanted a, a brick. You know, I had, I had the Garrett S250. The original coil on it wasn't the best. Um, I got the Nell Tornado coil on the S250. And wow, fines went through the roof. So it, if you're looking for a starter machine cheap get yourself an S250 take the uh, take the stock coil off it get yourself a Nell Tornado coil and you've got yourself a proper good machine that p punches deep down and find them small silver coins now I moved on to the 80 Pro and I always felt I was just missing missing stuff I know I found some good stuff I found that hammered coin not long ago uh, I found a few hammered coins I found two gold coins so it does find stuff but I always I just felt I was missing stuff and then um, Equinox this gets a good refuse I've never heard anyone say anything bad about it so I've given it a go I've got the 600 over the 800 I think if you want an 800 you're one of them people that likes to really fine-tune a machine into the way you want it to go I'm not too fussed about fine-tuning machines I uh, just want to find stuff really uh, I'm not going to be going to Australia gold prospecting so I didn't really bother with the 800 so I got the 600 instead 200 pound cheaper uh, lightweight a lot of stuff on it that I need to learn but that comes with practice so let's carry on now I've moved into the trees now because the, the rain started uh, banging signal here 13 solid 13 let's have a look see what that is See how deep it is. Only two inches. I'm guessing that could be a coin maybe. I don't know. I've got a lot to learn about the noises and the tones and the numbers. But we'll see what this is. Well that solid 13 was a shallow foil. But I know um, I was watching someone with an Equinox found gold, gold coin on a solid 15 so it wasn't too far off. Uh, but you've got to dig them all. I suppose that could have been a hammered, could have been gold. So I've come over to the edge of the pond where people used to fish many, many, many years ago. It's a bit overgrown now. Uh, just nearby I found 
the child's um, christening bangle bracelet, silver, very nice. Uh, I've got a solid, well, it's a 15, I think. Uh, a bit jumpy, actually. Yeah, it's a 15. 15, 16. Uh, it's jumping around a little bit. But that's in and around the gold signal, so let's see what it is. Well, it's out, it's in the clump, and now it's turned into. Pretty steady. Let's go down here, try and do a live dig. Not very good at these live reveals. Uh, I'll get my little digging tool out. Uh, I, should, I should do this before I turn the camera on, shouldn't I, really? Right, there's that. My pinpointer, I've got a new battery for it because it's playing up, with it. it keeps falsing all the time. Oh, right. It's right round about here. Right, let's see if we can dig it out. Oh. My god, this ground is absolute solid. Uh, can't see anything. It's always exciting when you get a gold signal on the machine. At least I'm told on YouTube that 15 is a gold signal on the knocks. Oh my god. This is why I don't do many live refills, you see. Not on this permission anyway, if I had a nice... Ah! Well that's not gold is it, it's another fishing weight. Yeah well, I am right beside the fishing pond I suppose. So 15, 16, 14 is lead, fishing weight as well. Mm, it's all a learning curve, I've got to learn it. It's a whole new machine, it'll take me ages to learn it. Another lesson learnt, 14, 15, 16, is also the dreaded ring pull. Well that one fooled me, that was up in the 20s. I just dug down to Australia. Uh, not bad depth. I think it's just another piece of lead. Having a bit of a lead day. Uh don't think that's uh, old. Took another few deep hole and uh, lead, another lead red. Tell you what, I won't show you any more of these that I find. I think I know what numbers they come up as. Um haven't found a coin yet. Come on Equinox, give me a coin. There's a couple of good channels you might want to watch. Um Iffy Signals in America, brilliant channel, and West Country Clegg, been watching a lot of his stuff lately, really, 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 really fun videos, really good. He's got the, uh, what's it, a GPX 500, and he's looking for his hoard, he goes deep that machine, I tell you. But yeah, a couple of good channels there, I'll put the links to their channels in the description for you. Give them a sub and a like. Right, on to the next. Well, I found my first coin with the Equinox. It looks modern now. I think it's a spendable, actually. Well, well, you've paid back some of the money I, I paid for it. Yeah, it's a modern 10 pence, I think. Yeah, it's a bit crusty. If I can just see the 10 on there, I think it's a modern 10 pence. Mmm. Spendies. Well, I'm not finding much, really. It's a... Uh, Rolled up bit of lead, I think. Very heavy. Not sure if it's old lead, but it's uh, fairly heavy. You see, it's been rolled up. I dug this hole here, and it's a live bullet. There we go. Not been fired yet. Ooh, was that nine millimeter? I think I'll be putting that somewhere very, very safe. Don't want that to go pop. Well, the Nox has found something. Not quite sure what it is. Could be a furniture fitting. Uh, that looks old. It's very crudely made. You can see the shape of it. Got a hole there. I'm sure I've seen someone dig something like this up. And it turned out to be something good. Need to get myself a toothbrush. 
I've seen someone dig one of these up, I can't remember what it was, but something about a heart on here. I can't remember what or why that was important. But that looks old, that could be something good. Please, if you know what that is, let me know. Well, it punches down quite deep, this Equinox. Uh, I think it's just junk, but you can never be too sure. It's got some shape to it. It's quite heavy. Uh, not sure. Could be something, could be nothing. It looks like a, a shape or something, but just can't make it out. I'll give it a clean when I get home and see if it is anything. Whoa, I think the Nox has found me my first silver or my first outing. Whoa, look how deep that hole is as well. It was uh, kind of jumpy, quite a jumpy, but definitely diggable. And now it's oh, solid 12 sitting on top there. Yeah, it looks silver. You'll see just as much as I can see. Oh, come on. Please be silver. That'd be a great start to the Nox. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's thin as well. It's thin. Could it be? Oh, can you imagine a hammy on my first day out? Oh my god, there's a hammy. Is it? No way. My f it is as well. It's a hammy. It's a hammy. Get in. Who the hell is that? Oh my god. I can't. Oh, that's amazing. First out in wooden knocks. Now it's a solid 12 sitting on top. But when it was, it was lying quite flat as well. It was jumping 16 up to 20 back down again. But it's definitely diggable. Oh, you beauty. I'm not going to dig it too much, but that is old. I found a Robert II on here, but I'm trying to make out who that is. That is a crudely made coin. It's pretty blank on this side, but I think this is well old. Let's have a look. Trying to make out anything on here, but I'll tell you what, the grass is wet. I'll give it a quick, a quick squish. I think it's quite, quite uh, bad condition on one side. And here we go. Just about makes someone out. Um, yeah. Well, your guess is as good as mine on this one. I am absolutely over the moon now. Absolutely. I went over this with the AT Pro as well. Uh, so that is quite a small hammy and it was well deep. That's well deep down. Uh, I did see a face pointing in left or is he facing right now I'm not sure hmm your eyes play tricks on you when you're trying to ID something but I'll tell you what I am over the moon absolutely over the moon this is why I got the Nox and it's paid me back on day one if anyone knows what this coin is because it looks properly old please let me know Oh, there we go. I think I'm getting eaten alive by flies here. Well, what I'll do is I'll take some pictures, and if anyone knows who that is, please let me know. Amazing. Fantastic. Over the moon. Well, I'm still over the moon. That, um, first day out, first hammy. Got a banging 15 here. Four inches down, three inches down. Wow, let's see what this is. Uh, nothing much. Modern, I think. Something to do with the apples, probably. Got 16 something. Half an ounce. Yeah, something modern. Dug that hole there. Banging signal. Uh, well, at first, when I saw that in the hole, I thought, oh, brooch. Or oh, something. Old. But now I'm not too sure. Yeah. 
it doesn't look that old the metal is not pitted it doesn't look hugely old I mean it could be a um, Victorian style brochy thing but not sure probably just scrap if you have any other ideas let me know please A uh, bang signal there. Uh, my heart was pounding there. I thought I'd found another hammy when this dropped out. A second hammy would have been amazing, but I think, yeah, it's just aluminium, just an old lid. It does have some sort of lettering on that, I think, but yeah, I think it's just junk. Very light, aluminium, bendy, yeah. Well, this was another banging signal, quite loud and clear, jumping between 15 and 18. I think it's just a modern coin. have a look. Ooh, probably one of them old half pennies. Oh, no, it's got pattern on it actually. Ah, oh, it's an old button. Try and focus on that, so that's where the shank was. It's got some nice pattern on there. Some sort of leaf. Mmm. Very nice. Very loud signal that was. Wasn't that too deep. Wasn't that deep. Yeah, nice little pattern. Nice button. Oh, is that my first button with the uh, Equinox? I dug a hole there and banging sort of 1920. Jumping around a little bit. I don't think it's too old. Could be the end of a walking stick sort of thing, but I'm not sure. Dug that hole there, banging target, bit of lead, bullet, I think. Yeah, free ringer. Hit its target. Or scuffed something, it's definitely hit something. Mmm, it's a bit of history on this little field. Well, I'm impressed, impressed with the knock so far. Um, this is quite deep down. Um, not sure what it is. I think really. But it was giving off one hell of a signal. Well, I wasn't going to dig this one because I thought it sounded a bit, I don't know, foil, you know, 9 and 10. If, and you're supposed to dig these actually because hammered come in at 9 and 10 on this machine sometimes. Um, but it looks like we could be on our second silver. Maybe, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. I've only seen what you're about to see. Just down there. I don't know what it is. Oh, what's that? Is that what it is? I don't know if that was actually... That's not it. That is it. Oh, oh don't even tell me that's a... Don't even tell me that's part of a Roman coin that I've just... taken out. I was just getting eaten by flies. I was just thinking to myself before, I've never found a Roman coin. I found a spindle wall, whether it's Roman or not, I'm not sure, but... I've never found a Roman coin. Uh, not sure this is either. Give it a quick wipe. Nah, nah, that's n surely not. It's not going to focus now. No, nah, I think it's a bit of scrap pewter or something. Oh well. Let's carry on. Uh, banging signal again. It's always a banging signal with this machine, I tell you. Uh, looks like a coin, not very old. There we go. Oh uh, yeah, it's not very old. Uh, try and focus. Who's this? George. George the fifth. George the fifth. And that'll be. Uh, date on there, 19, it's a half penny, Nineteen twenty. Nineteen twenty. it's in good condition, pretty cool. Ah, I found that, not sure what that is, looks like a key or something, like, could be a, oh, no idea, is there some pattern on there maybe? 
Not sure what that's made out of. It feels heavy. Ah, pretty nice. Oh my god. If this is what I think it is. Oh, unbelievable. Um, so, I can't remember where I found the hammer uh, today. It was around about over there. The old Robert II hammy over that way. Um, the silver child's christening bangle thing was just over there, I think. Right, rough. And here, I just got banging, banging 23, I think it was. Let's have a look. Oh, and I can see something in there. <laughs> oh my god, if it is what I think it is, or made out of what I think it's made out of, I am going to be over the moon. Solid, loud 24. Now, I'll show you what I've seen. So you can understand why I'm getting a bit excited. Now does that look like gold? Does that look like gold? Oh my god. I have no idea what it is. If it is gold, it must be a, a bangle or something. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please be gold. Please. Uh, you know it's going to be a lid. Because this is close to the modern... It's going to be a lid, isn't it? It's going to be like a jam jar lid or something. So let's not get too excited. I'll try and get it out without too much, too much. Oh, I don't know what it is, you see, so I don't want to damage it, whatever it is. If it's a jam jar lid, it's getting thrown as far as I can throw. Oh, oh, come on. Uh, you know what? You son of a... Farmer's wife, double dipping cream. Well, you can understand why I got excited. You can understand, anyone seeing that sticking out in the mud? Son of a... Karen gate, bloody hell, that's old. Look at that. Well, it's a bit of an antique, but not the type of antique I was expecting. Ah. Ah. If only. If only. Ah. So that's me done for the day. Uh, just a quick round up of some of the better things that I found. Uh, that thing there, I'm pretty sure that's old, you know. It's very... Look crudely made. Someone must know what that is. Let me know. Um, not sure about this item. Could be anything. Again, not sure about that. Could be the end of a walking stick. Not sure. A uh, lovely button. First button with the Nox. Nice little flower pattern on it. This thing here. Not sure, but it feels like it should be a key like that or something. Hmm. Uh, 1920 half penny, George V, and the best find. You can't ask for more than that, can you? On your first outing with a new machine, the final hammy. I still don't know who it is. Can't make out a face on it now. I thought I could when I took it out the ground, but now I can't. But one of you, if you know, it looks like a face there actually. Not sure, not sure. If anyone knows, let me know. So, what do I think of the Nox? Amazing. Lightweight. The tone's coming through and nice and clear. Oh god, it's just, it's iron discrimination on that's really good. Um, I've got a dirty already, look. Got a dirty already. Uh, I should really get a box cover. But yeah, I love it, brilliant. Amazing. And I'll be back out again soon with it, so uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching and commenting. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.